so we're going to the Ren Fair today and I'm dressed in tiny core because who else would appreciate tiny core besides Ren Fair nerds, right? Right? So it is nasty and cold out today. So obviously we're dressed in layers and I've got some hot hands in the car and I'm just waiting on Joseph and my brother to get back so we can go to the Louisiana Ren the Louisiana Renaissance Fair in Hammond, Louisiana. I don't know why my mouth wanted to like jumble all that one together, other than that is kind of a mouthful. As you guys can see, it is raining, it is cold. This is gonna be tough. So let's go to the Red Fair. We're walking in. It's not as rainy as it was in St. Charles Parish but it is kind of cold and i've already seen one person dressed in cottage core and i'm always here for that i was getting on joseph that he needs to work on his little fusion outfit get to it and i don't have more important things to do he doesn't he doesn't <laughs> all right so here is the front entrance we bought our tickets online So it seems to be the food area. And it's a little bit challenging to navigate an umbrella that broke and a camera and freezing cold fingers. to get the crow's nest thing but it's stopping so I guess I won't It's like 4.45 and we're heading to check out the joust area because we want to see what the guest artist setups look like and get an idea. I think this could be a good fit, but I want to see for myself. The only downside is when it's nasty, it's nasty. However, it seemed like there was good foot traffic all day today. So the guest artist booth, which is like a one weekend table sort of thing, are down by where the joust is okay so joseph went and asked and he said he they said they think it's the place with the green door so i guess that and then sorry and then maybe this because they are newer additions so this would make sense because i see the evil confections at the last veneer farmers market pretty frequently 
and it doesn't seem like they've like bulked out the place. Okay, this is the guest artist spot. Kinda at the tail end of everything, but honestly, if you're gonna test it and see if it would work for you, being in one of the worst spots is kind of a good thing because if you do well even in a bad spot, that's a pretty good show. Right, so we're heading out. It's about time to go anyway. Joseph, if you could do one thing differently today, what would you have done differently? What, what does that mean? Open-ended. Um, I don't know. Found some way to keep my nose warm. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Devin. I would have worn a cloak if I could get one. Would you have dressed warmer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Joseph was also saying he wished we could have done more activities, but because of the weather, we'd agreed not to necessarily do. There was lots of things to do though. So like that's not the show's fault, that's the weather's fault. And I, what would I have done differently? I don't know. Uh, I'm not saying I did things perfect but I dressed pretty warmly and uh, I had a good time and so uh, maybe maybe gone on Sunday because Sunday is supposed to be war well not warm but like dry weather and not nasty rain but there were a lot of people out today